Tuesday. There just was a cat train. Oh dear. Okay. Talk to me Tuesday, number I never remember. Today is the 4th of um, June. This is Gaia and I'm filming from uh, Trieste in Italy. So the first thing that I want to tell is to thank everybody who thought about me and uh, was worried about what the earthquake was uh, causing to me and to the people that are dear to me. And I thank you very, very much for thinking about me. And uh, there still was a very strong quake yesterday night, but luckily all the people are just now living in the tents outside of the houses. And so even though there were more um, uh, buildings and breakages and so on, nobody got hurt. The bad side of all of this is that people can't start rebuilding and working again because you never know when will this will end. But let's hope that uh, finally things will settle down. And anyhow, but thanks to everybody that's thinking about me and hugs to all of you. So what will I tell you today? Uh, finally, this was a week when I had something to show you. So first things first, I've been, uh, I've filmed a couple of uh, pieces of the Talk To Me Tuesday on Sunday. So here is Gaia on Sunday. I wanted to show you a couple of things that I'm giving away today. And they are going to my, let's say, distant cousin. She has a shop, uh, I'll put the link, and uh, she sells um, a lot of uh, handmade uh, linen and cotton and uh, natural um, fiber things. And uh, her style, I was thinking about it for various days before getting the right name for it. I think it can be described as the Zucker one that you can see on lots of uh, websites. It's uh, craze in Japan and now it's getting very famous also in uh, the rest of the world recently. And uh, it's just uh, no colors or almost no colors. I can't say it's really my style but anyhow <laughs> so I created a couple of things for her that were on uh, this kind of uh, style and uh, that would look good on her uh, between her various creations the things she sells now so these are napkin holders they would have looked good also on a white linen napkin but I don't have white linen napkins I have more colorful ones these were the most neutral, neutral one I could find and they are made with linen and the um, mother of pearl uh, bottom behind it and appliqued uh, a very fancy mm. uh, I think here I can't get the names of it sorry I'm a bit <laughs> I'm still a bit sleepy today. And the other thing I made for her is this. It's a small uh, holder for stuff. It's lined in grey, white and grey. The ones I've made up till now were more colourful. And uh, I cut with the Sidzix a small butterfly pin. You can take it off if you want. And uh, she's got also another layer of um, of wings made in a very fancy, sh shiny um, fabric, organza-like. And uh, this is the second one. I hope she likes them. They certainly are her kinds of colors and materials, while these are my kinds of colors and materials, as you can see. <laughs> these were the ones I was showing you the other day. I finished them as a table mat and a mug rug. Here they are. They look great. I could have uh, changed here the proportions and put more blue all around it because it doesn't breathe much. It's a little bit closed up by the, um, the green border. But they look fine. I posted the pictures of them. Ah, I'll put a picture of it because I like the setting with all the, the small cups and everything. I posted the picture to the um, website of uh, Hobby Donna and they are making a selection of... Uh, works uh, for a calendar and uh, that they will publish in 2013 and they'll be choosing 36 um, works with, with any kind uh, with um, patterns and tutorials to do them. 
mine absolutely isn't particularly innovative or anything original they are just plain old mug rugs and uh, table mats but I think nobody has ever put uh, paper pieced patterns this is by one side a pro and by the other one a con because certainly nobody I have mm, they could be fascinated by a different kind of technique that they never published on any Italian magazine but on the other side uh, I'm afraid they would have wanted also the explanation how to do paper piecing and putting only some pictures it was a little difficult so I didn't put the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do paper piecing just a collage of the various steps but without really explaining it so if they really are struck by the originality of a paper piecing pattern they could also ask to add the other steps I don't know I'm really not uh, optimistic about it the but um, doesn't cost much to try and I also had another couple of things that I'll be showing you on uh, the next uh, week. Bye bye! So I'm back again, a uh, change of light, <laughs> because I was using the light for the aquarium, but at a certain time they just shut off, because obviously also fishes have to sleep, and so I have to open the other lights and uh, things have a bit changed the <laughs> shadows and everything, sorry. And they are a couple of uh, stupid um, um, birds. <laughs> You could use them as a pot holder, I think. That's the idea. I think something like a 10 minute work <clears throat> and uh, uh, another great use of the circles for the Sidzix because I hate cutting circles. They never come right. Well, with the Sidzix I had tons of circles in a couple of minutes. So here they are. Stupid little hands. Birds or whatever. This one, while I was doing this, I still had the fabric for this border around, and I had to test another pattern that I draw, drew this uh, last week. And I realized that for all my patterns, I use very neutral, uh, subtle uh, backgrounds. Never nothing bold or anything fun or uh, particularly. I'm a little bit afraid of choosing a bolder background and so I decided to give a go to that green as a background and so here are my cosmetics <laughs> all of the different pieces are separate so you can only stitch if you want uh, five or six uh, different um, nail polishes of all the colors that you like or just lipsticks if you prefer or if you don't like the um, mascara you can take that off and uh, it's pretty versatile so I had fun drawing it uh, and it it's goes along pretty fast. Also there are no points except here where you have to have things that have to join perfectly. So it's pretty fast. And I'll wait for my copy of EQ7 that still hasn't arrived to finish it up, to polish it and then uh, put it up on the Craftsy website. So pretty. And we'll see us next week. A hug. Goodbye.